Hey Claiborne, it's Friday. As you know, I'm a big fan of Bricklink Studio for modeling sets and making comic strips. I think it's an essential tool for beginning mockers, and today I wanted to talk about what might be the second least intuitive process of the tool, purchasing the actual bricks needed to turn your designs into display items at home. To do this demonstration, I'm just going to use the 1984 Mac model. It's one of the defaults. In order to purchase the parts to build it, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are logged into Bricklink via Bricklink Studio. Once you're logged in, you can click the shopping cart and you're taken to a screen on Bricklink, the site, to create a new wanted item list. At this page, just click proceed and verify items because no one loves reading XML, not even computers. Here, you'll see all the parts that were a part of the model. You can change conditions, set max pricing, and a bunch of other stuff here, but I don't recommend it because it's easier on the next screen. Instead, just scroll all the way to the bottom and click Add to Wanted List, then View List on the next screen. And this is the screen where I would edit for quality, price, and other things. But this list is longer than 25 items, so if you want to change a setting for every piece on the list, then you want to change the number of items per page to 100 or some number that will list all of the items. Then you can select all and change whatever. For instance, sometimes I'll change condition to new, but not today. Now we can finally almost buy the items by clicking buy 74 items. And on the next screen, Bricklink attempts to match your piece needs to the various stores that might carry the pieces you want. You can see my recommended settings here. If it's your first time doing it, the lots below wanted quantity check might not be checked, but I recommend it. From here, you can click auto select and get recommended stores to buy from based on the pieces that you need. The next screen asks if you want to include stores where your shopping cart will be below their minimum buy, but I never check this box. You'll get recommended some number of stores to buy from to get all your pieces, and you can see here that the Mac model is going to cost me $21 not including tax and shipping. A little expensive for a 100 piece set. From here, click Create Carts because Bricklink is not like Amazon where you pay once and the site disperses the funds to the vendors appropriately. It's more like an online mall where you check out from each store individually. So from here, you click check out on each cart individually and check out. And if you look at your carts, you can see the shipping costs as well. From there, Claiborne, you just have to wait on your parts to come in and then use your instructions to put the set together. I'll see you on Tuesday.